doing today's October 10th 2020 and last night I worked on my United States map blue is Biden orange is Trump and um, so basically this is what I got and I'll probably post it on my community channel um, but Biden, uh, total electoral votes for Biden was 362. Total electoral votes for Trump was 146. Okay, so some, you know, the last time it was 86% or no, 89% correct. Okay, so I'll just tell you, I worked on this and... Um, and I'll do again. I'll go over it again right before the election. But what I got was Biden that he wins Arizona, California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Florida, Illinois, Iowa, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, Nevada, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New Mexico, New York, Ohio, Oregon. Rhode Island, Texas, Texas, yes, Texas, Vermont, Virginia, Washington, Washington, D.C., and Wisconsin. Now, the ones that are close is Florida and Texas. And even if he, if he, let's see, Florida is, uh, what is Florida? 29 and Texas, Texas is 38. So let's add that at 29, 38, 2, 3. So that'd be 67 minus 362. Biden would still win. Biden would still win, you guys. I'm going to work on the Senate seats. Um, I've got them all written out, but I have to sit down because last night, you know, it, it, it takes some energy because I got to totally take out what I want. I have to be totally just whatever they say. And they were kind of talking to me last night and it was coming out. I've got Trump winning Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Idaho, Indiana, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Mississippi, Missouri, Montana, North Carolina, North Dakota, uh, South Dakota, South Carolina, Oklahoma, Tennessee, Utah, West Virginia, and Wyoming. Total of 20 states for Trump. Okay, and the rest goes to Biden. It's going to be a slam dunk. Now, he may pitch a fit on Texas and Florida. Like, oh, you know, because it doesn't feel like it's outrageous. But the rest of them, he wins pretty, pretty good. Okay, so. All right. That's what I got. And I'll post it on my community page so you can take a copy of it. And, um, you know, we can check off the list on the day of the, um, on the day of the voting. Okay. And um, Mel, as I told you, uh, I couldn't do Mel this past week and he'll be here Tuesday. I'm getting a flu shot on Tuesday, Tuesday morning. And i um, getting some blood work done. And then um, Sterling is Sunday. And uh, Dan has already done his questions, so please don't write me with questions now because they're already done. And um, I'm at 38,000, and thank you guys very much. And now I'm going nearly 50,000 hits every video. So, thank you. It's kind of weird, but thank you so much. And I'm meeting so many great people in my personal readings, too. So, thank you so much. Okay, so... I know you guys had some questions 
And some of the stuff I was feeling like, the first thing I'm feeling is the stimulus check. Now, Sterling felt um, we would have it, I thought for sure, September. So I've been wrong on that. But I felt a stimulus check would come. But it's a matter of when it's going to come. Will a stimulus check, check come in October? Because a lot of people, after he said no stimulus, if, I watch Twitter. If you look at Twitter, after he said no stimulus check, people were so upset. People on there that were Republicans are saying, you know what? I was going to vote for you, but to hell with you. You're more worried about your numbers than you are about us being able to feed our families. You're more worried about putting that woman in the Supreme Court. Speaking of her, let's look at her again, too. Okay, so the stimulus check. Will they come out? Now, right now I heard Trump is willing to go to $1.8 trillion. So funny that he acts like he's special with money. That's not even his money. And uh, Pelosi wants $2.1 or $2.2 trillion. He's throwing money at the stock market as we speak. So it's interesting he gets all weird when it comes to giving Americans help. Stimulus check. October. Yes or no? Stimulus check. Tell us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. People need this. Please help them out. Okay, let's see. Acting a fool, which we knew. Crossed by the angel, the light of the temperance, be patient. This is also the light of the angel God that I consider angelic forms. A force outside of ourself is working on it. Um, here's a woman standing in the middle of this or information coming through. He's straight up evil. You know that? Be strong. They're going to be fighting, you guys. They're going to be fighting. They're going to be at the crossroads. They're going to be like, he just gets to, they're going to blame Nancy Pelosi for this. They're going to blame, like she's holding it up. So October might come out, right? Like they could make an approve, approve it in October. It doesn't, because it's going to take a couple of weeks to come out. So I got that wrong, you guys. Um, Let's just ask, will an actual stim? Okay, let's not ask for October. Will there be a stimulus check that comes out? Because time frames can be, the one thing psychics can be wrong is time frames. It's not our best thing. I've been watching this show called Lovecraft, Lovecraft Country. Any of y'all been watching? Oh my God. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. It is so different. But I'm stuck on it. Okay. It's all about curses and magic. You know, I like that stuff. Okay, so. Will people actually get a stimulus check? Yes or no? Here's an offer of one. Psycho will change for the better. Here's us celebrating. Yes, okay? Yes, absolutely yes. Um, This isn't Trump. This might be... Munchkin. Here's them doling out the money. Here's people like tired of waiting for it. Yeah. You know what? People are going to throw a fit. They may turn around and act like, eh, you know, um, or they're going to take too long and people are going to throw a fit. Enough pressure will come upon them. You know, when he said, I'm not doing the stimulus, you can wait till I win office. I knew that was going to work against him. I could feel his numbers drop even more. So, I mean, I'd rather everybody had the money, but I'm telling you, it's working against Trump. It's not working against Pelosi. Okay, so, and then there was this thing about the Jewish news that they're saying that Trump is talking to Pence about a pardon. And um, then somebody, Rick, Rick Wilson, I think, he's pretty honest. He said, there's no way in hell. It's, first of all, it's not in the Jewish news. And secondly, no way in hell would 
I even reposted it because I thought it was true. But he said no way in hell would um, Trump quit. He's already said he won't be there uh, for the inauguration for Pence. I mean, for Biden. I'm like, I'm so hurt. Gag. Is Trump talking pardon, yes or no? I had that flash that he was standing with him and Biden talking, you know, well, they don't talk, he screams and interrupts at a debate. And then when they went backstage, he's telling Biden, okay, you need to figure out something to give me or to help me leave quietly. Because if you don't, I will cause so much chaos. Like it's an offer, like Biden might take it. It's like, you got to get these people off my ass. He can't do the state, but he might, he might. I don't know if he will or not, because he's so awful and he needs to go down head first. Is Trump talking about Pence taking over and giving him a pardon? Yes or no? Just give us the 411. I don't think so. He still thinks he can win. He has hope. He still thinks he can win. There's a little bit of back and forth. He might be talking to some of his dear friends, but he still thinks he can win. Interesting. No, I don't know. I, I almost feel like Pence. Let's look at Pence because he disappeared. He canceled his engagements and he disappeared. So what's that about? What's going on with Pence? What happened to Pence? Wasn't that so funny? With the fly on his head. Oh my God, there's so many good little cartoons about that. But somebody said, the fly said, uh, can I take this stool? Okay, so tell me what's going on with Pence. Where are you, Pence? Where are you, Pence? Where are you? Oh, it's nice and overcast here, you guys. It's drizzling. Uh, we're 86% contained. Whew. Boy, oh boy. My birds are having fun in their bath. Everybody's doing good. The doggies right now, Lulu and Jack, are at the beauty parlor. They hate it. Hated it. But they were supposed to have their shampoo back when we got evacuated. So tell me about Pence. Pence, where are you? What's going on with you? Why all of a sudden did you cancel everything? So funny when things like this happen, everybody's got an opinion. Okay. Ooh, maybe not so good. Um, whoa, okay. Judgment in the house, seven of pentacles reverse. He's disappointed or he's upset. I wonder if his wife is sick, if Karen got it, mother. If mother got sick, it's something where he's, it's not because of uh, Trump. It's something in his house, something in his, his family. So I, if they're not sick, then somebody in the family is sick. That's what I'm getting. And um, they're working hard. Did you hear Christie's getting out of the hospital and thanked everybody? So, you know, he... His cards were bad, but not as bad as Barr. We haven't heard from Barr either. Let's look at Barr. Uh, I don't see Pence dying or anything. It's just like he got news. It could be his family, and who knows if we ever find out. Okay, tell me about um, Barr. He sort of disappeared too. Oh, yeah, Trump was so mad because Durham said, I'm not going to be pushed. What did I tell you guys? When I found that Durham second person, that, that woman that stepped down and she's, she was one of their best. She was one of the top notch and she was very close to Durham. 
and she decided she didn't want to, she said that they were pushing them and she didn't like that. So she was leaving. And what did I tell you? It was going to make Durham think. It was going to make Durham realize he's making an ass out of himself because he was feeling panic with them. But now I think he turned to Bart and said, screw you. If I ain't got nothing, I ain't got nothing. That's a nothing burger. Bar, what's going on with Bar? So anyway, they said not until after the election. Let me tell you, Trump's going to lose so bad, I don't think they'll bother. Tell me about Bar. Where are you, Bar? What's going on with you? He's supposed to be in isolation, but they won't say if he's sick. He won't say if he's sick. Tell me about Bar. What's going on with you, Bar? Let's check it out. Justice crossed by the moon. So I would say he's disappointed in justice or what he identifies as justice. Communication is off. Um, there's a female that doesn't feel good. He's not feeling good, you guys. He's not feeling good. Um, can't communicate. He's not feeling good. This is Biden. Why would Biden show us the outcome? Biden is in here. Um, he's not going to die from this. He's, he's going to survive. But then it's like by the time he's feeling better, Biden's in. Or you know what I'm saying? It just feels like he's basically unable to help. Okay, you guys, hold on. My beautiful guides. Tell me about Bar. How is he doing? I see him. I can see him. It's a nice house he lives in. He's not in the hospital. He's at home, but he doesn't feel well. His wife is mad at him. I think other people in the family got sick. Somebody just said, but they're going to be okay. But this exacerbates something else with him. Because remember, I, I never felt good about him. And he knows Biden's going to win. And yet he's talking to people and he's get tracking on things and he's trying to figure out how to cheat. And he knows Biden's going to win. And, and basically, he feels like he's screwed. And then, you know, Trump turned on him because how, you know, you got to get something out of here. I need my October surprise. <laughs> Let's bring Stormy Daniels to come out, out of a cake for him for his October surprise. Yeah, so he actually is fearful right now. He knows. And Durham told him something. And he liked Durham. But Durham told him something. You know, all those people that signed petitions and said he was the most worthless uh, DOJ and he, how he's in Trump's pocket, all that stuff didn't faze him as much as what happened with Durham. He he's feels lost for you guys. It's, it's an emotional breakdown as well as a physical. Okay? All right. So, um... Since I did that, let's, let's see if my guys will show me pins. We don't want to wish bad on anybody. Pins is sick. I get I get more disappointment and under the weather, maybe bars coming out of it. With pins, I feel he's sick. And they don't want people to know. Oh, yeah, because he did that thing and he was all, you know, we don't need the partition. Yeah, so it's good. He's, Pence is sick. I can see him. He's sick. Ooh, yeah. He was looking bad that night, you guys. He was already there. People were saying he had pink eye and everything else. His, his wife, Karen, I feel is sick too. I see Trump talking behind closed doors, making sure he gets that medication. I think he offered it to Barr too. It might actually help. This could be the thing that really helps, but they're still contagious. I don't care what he says. Let's look at Trump. Let's look at Trump. Trump, are you still contagious? Are you miraculously cured? He was sick. 
He's even starting to leak that how sick he was because he had that. He had those bad cards, remember? Oh, we were wishing and hoping. Oops, I didn't say that. Hold on, hold on. Let's see. Let's see if I can get them. The cards are cool, but sometimes I can pick up. And I'm really good these past couple of days. Um, tell me about Trump. Yeah, you know what I hear? I hear him saying, I'm magnificent, aren't I? I'm wonderful, aren't I? They loved me, didn't they? People in the White House are really fed up. So many people are sick. It's just like a walk of the marching sick. Is he really okay? Is he really feeling better? Yeah, he's feeling better. What's going to happen to Trump? Is he getting better? Will he be... He's already pushing himself too much so he'll get himself sick again. That's what I just heard. He's pushing himself too much and he's going to exacerbate his condition. He needs to rest. He's pushing himself and pushing himself and he's going amongst crowds and he's still contagious. He's going amongst crowds and he's still contagious, but he feels his people need him. So what's the outcome? The outcome is he, he should have gotten more rest. Like he might struggle with this for some time. Um, and he's got the four. Remember, that's the coffin card. This may exacerbate a condition he already has. There's something go else going on with him. I'm not going to say that COVID's going to take him down, but... And those doctors are in trouble, the ones that lied for him. That's so sad. But um, he thinks people need him. He thinks he's Caligula. He thinks that he's special and everybody wants him. And he already told Sean Hannity or whoever, if I win again, I'm going to tell you what they're going to pay. I won't forget. You see? He can't just win and say, oh, let's all kumbaya and work together. That's why it's so important that he loses because we can't afford for more drama. And he won't care if those cells come up and, and you know, like with Michigan. He won't care. There will be some drama, but it won't be as... I almost feel, I almost feel like the FBI and the CIA are on it. Like they're watching this like a hawk, even more so than a lot of people think. That's what I'm getting. Okay, now next week is supposed to be the Amy thing. And we've always had disappointing cards with her. The disappointment could have been that that tea thing and everybody getting sick and people are looking her, at her and apparently some children that were there got sick or her children exposed other children. So this could be the sadness around her. Tell me about, and you know, Biden made a very good point on the news. I don't know if this was the other day or today. He said... They said, oh, so are you going to pack the courts? Are you going to add two more? And he said, of course, I'm not going to tell you what I would do. If I did, it'd be the front of the headlines. And of course, Trump would run with it. So he's going to pack the courts, you know. But I did notice that that little event he had in Washington today, he had, everybody was wearing a mask. Most people were wearing a mask, except him. And he had to stand above the crowd. Evita. Don't cry for me, Evita. So, tell me about Amy. Amy, they're gathering around. I see the Democrats really coming up with some stuff. I hope this isn't going to be like Kavanaugh, you guys. I told you Kavanaugh was going to get in anyway, but trust me, they're going to get him out. They'll be replacing two people before too long. See, she always shows these, these cards that are like she's got to walk away. 
It could be her stance on abortion. It could be people calling. I don't know, you guys. This is the outcome card. There, it wasn't like Kavanaugh where it showed. Oh, don't. He's going to get it for sure. But don't worry. They're going to move him out. Remember I told you guys that when I was in Lawton, Oklahoma, I went out by myself in the yard and I said, I'm going to tell you all right now. This is what's up. And don't bother me again. <laughs> but her cards are really, it's very hard. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's ask the guides. Let's ask the guides. Hold on. Let's ask the guides. Okay. We don't wish harm. We don't wish anything bad. We're not trying to go neener, neener, neener. Yes, we are. Amy, are you going to be a Supreme Court? Are you going to be on the Supreme Court? Somebody just said no. Are you going to be? They might not have enough votes. They may have a couple of people that bail out. We already know. Uh, Murkowski, and we know Collins, and I think they won't, they'll say no. Something else is going to come up about her. You know, she belonged to that group, and so I just feel that, you know, and she's spoke for she spoke, she made speeches to, um, I believe, well, almost like white nationalist parties. Um, there's some views that she has that are just really going to just knock it out of the, just knock it out of the park. It's just that I see them, I see several people coming forward and saying no. The look I see on McConnell's face is almost like that look when McCain came up and did this. I hope I'm right. I hope I'm right, you guys. I hope I'm right. Trump might try to throw somebody else in there. If she doesn't get through, it's like they're desperate because he still has time till January 20th. But by then, you know, the Republicans are going to lose so bad. They're just whatever. Okay, so. I wanted to tell you I watched a seven-part story of our guy, Roosevelt, um, Franklin D. Roosevelt, who's come to me many times, and I could see him young. There's a seven; it's a seven-part PBS. In fact, I'm going to buy it and own it. Um, a lot of detail about the family, about Theodore Roosevelt, who they were, um, and it's interesting because Franklin Roosevelt was in the middle of his fourth term when he died. And he also did a lot of stuff where the courts were overturning him because he was doing things, basically socialist sort of things. But people were struggling and people loved him. When he did that fireside chat and said, quit hoarding your money, I want you to go down to the bank. I want you to put your money back in the bank. It's safe. We've done these things to make sure that your money is safe. And that next day, everybody did what he said. And then when he said the United States, because we were booming back when we were building tanks and planes for the UK. And he said, no, we're going to need this many. And I, if I know Americans, they'll do it. It was a really camaraderie. But the one thing he didn't do was civil rights. And that was heartbreaking. He, there, he had a chance to work on the... Um, and a lot of civil rights issues. He did some, but the one who did it all was Eleanor. Eleanor was right. Her name was Anna Elizabeth, I think, or Anna Eleanor. Anyway, she's never come to me. I've never seen her. I might try to attempt, but even when I was watching that show, like he comes easily to me, but her I wasn't getting. She did more work to help mankind, to help children. And she was on them like flies, do you know what? Because part of the reason um, that he couldn't do a lot of things for the black community was because there was still, if you see pictures of those days, all white men. Phil, Congress, Senate, all white men. Old Southerners. And it was like, if you go against them, then you can't get anything else through. So he wasn't able to protect 
Um, yeah, she was something else, you guys. But he's very bright, very happy to tell me that this is all going to be passed, that there's a reason all this happened. There was a reason for Donald Trump and uh, that we're, we've come together even though we don't think so. Yeah, they're going to be those little terrorist cells that don't act like they want to help, but mostly we've come together. Okay, so let's go ahead and ask for next week, and then I'll head out and I'll see you all again on Sunday. And I'm sorry about the stimulus check. There will be a stimulus check, but when, I don't know. Maybe they met next September. I'll have to look when I said that. Um, and 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 uh, I think Sterling said October. And I think they, in desperateness, because people are calling, I'm telling you, people are going cray cray. But he's doing, Trump's doing the same thing he did in 2018. Vote for a Democrat, they'll take away your Second Amendment rights. Vote for a Democrat, they're going to do this, they're going to do that. He was on there post uh, this disease he has. Uh, law and order. <laughs> Dan Rather put cornbread and beans. <laughs> I thought that was hysterical. Okay, so tell us about next week. Is there anything else coming up? I just saw a black wreath on the door of the White House. Somebody's getting ready to cross. Gosh, I hope it's not... Another a president or a first lady. You know, so, some good people died on Trump's watch, and it's just it just distorted it. You know, what's going on next week? What's going on next week? So we're talking to the seventeenth. Well, people are upset. I feel, I feel CIA, Secret Service, FBI really getting to town, really working hard, really letting us know we're going to be happy about something. The angel of light and mercy. It's almost like a miracle. Um, there's still, still oppression and depression. There's some bad news, I think, is related to you know, the virus, but there's good news about being able to take care of the, the virus. And um, a lot of people are coming together because everybody's gathering to vote. It's like this, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. By the way, I voted. So next week isn't too bad. N next week is, uh, it's not shock and awe. Let's look at the week after. So we'll look at the 17th on to the end of October. Tell me about it. Do you want me to tell? Okay, thank you. Well, so, you know, every once in a while I get that vision of what who I think is Archangel Michael. I'm, he might not be he wears like a, a, one of those vests, you know, like going to battle with the high tie sandals and he stands with this great light around him and he's a warrior. And he just said to me, he just, remember, he's the one that did the sword and told me to let everybody know it's going to get really tough. And those sparks were coming off the sword, which it has been. We've, we've gone through so much. But he said what's happening now is people are actually becoming more honorable. And that's good. Ooh, ooh, not good after that. Not good after that. Be patient. Be patient. There's going to be some out of the blue news, but there's also hope. So with this news comes hope. So it's probably bad news against you know who. So people are like excited. People are like, yes, yes. People are like excited. Gee, I wonder if he'll announce he's stepping down. 
it's good news, but also it's like one thing after the other. It's like our heads can't handle so much stuff. He might try to start something again. I'm almost feeling like he's talking out his, you know what? Yeah. So I'll be back uh, Sunday and we'll talk more. But uh, he's not out of the woods. Trump's not out of the woods. That I can tell you. Something else is coming up. He's, he's pushing himself too much. He's doing too much. So in turn, and he's not totally cured, so he's passing it on. Okay, you guys. I'll talk to you all later. Ciao.